Hey, welcome today on 5th of Jul July, one day after uh, 4th of July, the Freedom Day of uh, America. So let's on get of June, July, into the July. news. The yeah, the sun is working well and we have lots of news. So let's jump into it. Hope you had an amazing weekend, you enjoyed it, and now you are really pumped up and just waiting for the good news. So as the crypto market uh, just is a little bit a corrective day today, so uh, the weekend was really nice. There was a nice pump. Most of the altcoins and Bitcoin, Ethereum just pumped, and now we see uh, a slightly correction, but few coins like uh, the KuCoin coin, Omi, Leo, Titan, Synthetics, Aaron Gold, uh, Atom, Cosmos, R, and GRT are pumping. Let's check the our favorite uh, index, the Fear and Greed index, and see where it is today. Uh, it's going up. So today is 29 in the fear category and yesterday that was 27 and uh, the previous week around 20 so it means that slightly but it's just increasing a little bit and from the extreme fear it turned to just simple fear but also you should remember that uh, the last 25 uh, days or even um, almost 50 days the fear and greed index spent most of the time between 10 and 12 and you you know that extreme fear can be a sign that investors are too worried that could be a buying opportunity so let's get into uh, the news the first news is bitcoin and ethereum supply dropping on major crypto exchanges changing the tide favors bulls sentiment okay so let's see both on uh, both Bitcoin and Ethereum. This chart is from Sentiment. Uh, they are doing on-chain analysis. So Ethereum supply on exchange ratio sees major drop, matches lowest exchange percentage in 30 months. Let's check this. So you see that uh, this is the Ethereum price, the green one, and this purple uh, line and the purple area is the uh, supply on the exchanges ethereum exchange supply hit lowest since november 2018 and you know 2018 uh, that was uh, this huge bear market the crypto winter and now uh, the ethereum uh, supply on exchanges reached that level dropping below 18 percent for the first time in uh, 31 uh, months lowers the risk of future major sell-off. So why uh, it lowers the risk? Because as less and less Ethereum and less and less coins are on exchanges, there is a less selling pressure because people cannot sell too many coins as the supply is much higher. And that is why it always means that uh, if... <clears throat> the coins are low on exchanges then an, a kind of accumulation is starting to building up so following bitcoin's mid-may dip the supply of btc sitting on exchanges has steadily fallen back down and locked away for safekeeping by hodlers so they are not selling they are safekeeping okay so this is uh, the green line is the bitcoin price the purple line is the BTC exchange supply back down to levels last seen on January on 6 January 2021. So as the Ethereum uh, supply went uh, down uh, to the 2018 level, uh, the Bitcoin supply just went down to the uh, <clears throat> January levels in 2021. Our whale tracking data indicates that Ethereum whale address holding uh, 10,000 plus coins now hold 70% or more of the supply for the first time since September 2017. Okay, so this is uh, 
this uh, green line should be the Ethereum price and the purple line, the Ethereum addresses about uh, 10,000 Ethereum sitting about 70% supply. So they are holding the 70% of the total supply. So uh, this 70% hold by strong hands uh, yet, uh, in Ethereum. For the first time in crypto history, ETH addresses address activity is about BTC address activity as price have soared back about 2,100 US dollar. So this is, uh, that was the news last week that Ethereum unique address spiked ahead of BTC for the first time ever. So you see that um, the green is the Bitcoin addresses, uh, this um, mm, purple kind uh, is the Ethereum addresses. Altcoins have enjoyed quite the major resurgence over the past 36 hours or so. Much of this can be attributed to ETH's ETH address activity pop that's so in surprise even BTC. Okay, so that's uh, a really great analysis from sentiment. And also I wanted to show you uh, something. Uh, this is uh, about Bitcoin, all Bitcoin uh, balances on all exchanges. And we see that um, there was a drop. This is the Bitcoin price, the gray one. and. Uh, the orange one is the balances on exchanges and we see that balances started to drop after the increase when the dump started in may so this is also a good sign so let's get back to our news our next news is really interesting news Bre brian armstrong meets with fed chair jeremy powell U.S. needs to be a major crypto player to stay relevant. So Jeremy Powell is the chairman of the Federal Reserve, the uh, U.S. Central Bank. And <clears throat> this is an interesting because that meeting uh, just uh, happened in May, uh, but now we got some news. According to Jeremy Powell's conference uh, calendar, the CEO of Coinbase, Brian Armstrong, met with the Federal Reserve Chairman and former House of Representatives Speaker Paul Ryan to speak about the implica uh, implica implications of digital currencies. The meeting's details are unclear, but most of the discussions seemingly revolved around the construction of an American central bank digital currency, CBDC, national, US dollar, and countries that are already ahead of the game. Coinbase CEO says Chinese digital yuan represents a threat to U.S. reserve currency status. So we already uh, know that. Also, Cynthia Lumins, uh, the uh, senator of Wyoming, also talked about that uh, at the Miami Bitcoin conference. And now they are uh, the, uh, the chair of the central bank and the Coinbase uh, discussed the case of uh, CBDCs. Crypto is as important as the birth of the internet in terms of the jobs, GDP growth, and innovation in, uh, it can create. The US will need to be a major player in a crypto to stay relevant long term. I think this quote is from uh, Brian Armstrong. Yeah, he said this. <clears throat> and uh, as we see, also miners, Bitcoin miners, are moving to US. So that is how. US strengthening uh, its economic status in uh, within the crypto industry. Armstrong says legal uncertainty is a major problem. It is real. They are moving quickly on it. And I believe it represents a threat to US reserve currency status long term if the US doesn't move quickly to create their own. So uh, and, and uh, they think uh, that uh, the Chinese yuan is threatening the US dollar. And this is what uh, you should definitely check out, um, as uh, I already made a video about this. So you should uh, visit the Coronex YouTube channel, and then you will find this uh, video uh, that is about which video that. Uh, 
yeah bitcoin will underpin us dollar so you should definitely watch this video bitcoin will underpin the us dollar and uh, in this video uh, the senator uh, is uh, talking about why uh, the us should underpin the us dollar with bitcoin and then just uh, <clears throat> competing uh, and winning uh, this uh, competition against the digital yuan okay so be sure to like this video and also subscribe uh, on this uh, youtube channel and push the bell and be sure to write something in the chat write something that uh, uh, just uh, how do you like it what is your suggestions or what kind of news do you prefer do you prefer more technical analysis or more crypto related news so that's it about this meeting and also uh, the same news but other news channel fed chair met with coinbase ceo brian armstrong and former house speaker in may what else do we have so they also posted it on twitter and yeah so they talked about china so china is a real satan to the us dollar right now with this uh, digital chinese yuan okay so they are already testing and that is why uh, china cracked down on bitcoin because they don't want to allow their citizens to touch anything else uh, than their national digital yuan okay so what is uh, another important thing to know that coinbase and circle created together in joint venture the usdc stable coins we will have another news about usdc stable coin and uh, as usdc is a regulated stable coin also it can happen as uh, uh, <clears throat> they are just putting uh, all the equivalent fiat uh, on, uh, deposits on bank account as a reserve uh, behind the usdc stable coins so this is the process of the issuing and i can imagine that maybe the us uh, this usdc uh, could be uh, the digital us dollar in the future but uh, maybe uh, this is why uh, the fed chairman met uh, the coinbase ceo so I, I don't have any evidence this is just uh, what i'm thinking about this our next piece of news the sec should have approved a bitcoin etf a long time ago regulator pierce says so this is quite interesting sec is the united states uh, financial uh, authority financial regulatory body and hester pierce is uh, a commissioner there sec commissioner hester pierce, pierce said a bitcoin etf is overdue and argued that its prior reduction for such funds is a kind of double standard for years wall street's most powerful regulator has denied applications by the nation's exchanges and financial firms to list securities that track bitcoin uh, which each passing day the uh, rational aid that we have used in the past for not approving seems to grow weaker said peers so there is more news coming out that may we might uh, can see that some bitcoin ets will be approved uh, until date uh, 13 etf applications have been submitted major banks and financial institutions submitted their applications also uh, most of them are bitcoin etfs but also few ethereum etfs uh, <coughs> have been submitted so uh, should see uh, how the SEC will move this uh, Pierce uh, says so I think the markets have matured quite a bit it's quite important okay the Commission however is not well uh, positioned to uh, 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 assess the likelihood of either outcome for bitcoin or any other assets yeah so i think um, uh, we should wait uh, and see 
in in Canada, in Brazil, in Austria, in Australia, in Germany, and in a lot of other countries, there are ETFs already out there, and it uh, would really help uh, other institutions, brokers, financial players uh, to provide access to average Joes and and also to mainstream. So. And there is a quote, Bitcoin now is so decentralized, the number of nodes that are involved in Bitcoin is large and the number of people who have an interest in keeping that work decentralized is very large. She said, people should make their own decision. If people don't want to buy Bitcoin because they think it's manipulated, they shouldn't buy Bitcoin. So, so simple. The next piece of news also about the US SEC commissioners, so almost the same. Yeah, so she emphasized that it's not the SEC's job to approve or reject applications based on the merits of the underlying investments itself. People should make their own decision whether they, to buy Bitcoin, said the commissioner. So I think this is a really important quote. I thought that if we had applied our standards as we have applied them to other products, we would already have approved one or more of them. With each passing day, the rationale that we have used in the past for not approving seems to grow weaker. I think the markets have matured quite a bit, yeah. Okay, so people, people should uh, make their own decision. So our next piece of news, maybe it uh, will just, uh, uh, your mind, <laughs> it will make us crazy. Why a 1 million US dollar Bitcoin price isn't crazy? So <laughs> is it isn't crazy? Yeah. A 1 million US dollar Bitcoin price could be in our future sooner than you think. Okay, so we are already at 35,000. And there is a proof that the system is little more than a Ponzi scheme. Okay. Uh, the reality is that the crypto assets is already in heavily used today as a store of value. And this underlying utility of Bitcoin could potentially take it price to 1 million US dollar per, per coin. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> When a currency such as the US dollar is inflationary, people often look for alternative investments such as traditional stock, real estate and government bonds and also gold and Bitcoin. So then uh, they are uh, talking about uh, uh, limited supply. That is why Bitcoin is a scare assets. And uh, yeah, the, the total supply valuation of uh, 61 trillion US dollar, once all coins have been minted, ignoring the millions of coins that have likely been lost forever, that would result a 1 million price. Okay, the size of the global bond market was recently estimated at 119 trillion by Security Industry and Financial Market Association. At the same time, yields earn on many of those bonds are at or near all time lows, all time lows. In fact, 80, 18 trillion worth of those bonds have neg negative yields. So why would you invest in a negative yielding bonds? Yeah, the uh, Bridgewater Associate Chief Investment Officer Ray Dalio recently said he would personally rather own Bitcoin than bonds because this uh, nobody wants to earn ne negative yields. Okay. Some estimates put uh, the effect of new buy orders on Bitcoin's market cap at, at 25 times the value of the purchases. So from this perspective, 1 million looks quite conservative. Why this buy pressure certainly isn't likely to happen tomorrow, Bitcoin certainly stands to benefit from shaky global markets and uncertainty as an existing new asset class. Nice. So I think I will leave it open and we will get back. 
So some technical analysis, Bitcoin correcting gains, what could trigger fresh rally? Okay. Bitcoin started diamond correction from 36,000 zone and approached 34,000, the one hour simple moving average, but also uh, uh, this 34,000 uh, has been broken and Bitcoin just visited lower levels. And we see, I think it's uh, visited definitely this uh, price levels at 33,000 uh, ish levels, but we will check it because it's not accurate anymore because I opened it a few uh, hours ago. Important news, Coinbase to launch Apple-like crypto app store. So Coinbase is not just a crypto exchange, uh, one of the biggest crypto exchange and one of the biggest crypto wallet, but they want to become the next Apple store and Google Play kind of uh, app store. Cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase has unveiled its plan to build the crypto app store inspired by how Apple Incorporation built its app store. CEO Brian Armstrong said Apple didn't attempt to build every app for the iPhone. It empowered developers and gave mobile users an easy way to access new innovative apps. I think this is a quite interesting because then they will compete with Apple and 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 Google Pay uh, uh, on this. And I think with lots of crypto applications, crypto dApps, then it will open a floodgate to, to mainstream people to enter and interact with crypto. So Apple didn't attempt to build every app for the iPhone. It uh, empowered developers and gave mobile users an easy way to access new innovative apps. Uh, we will work to give our users access to all of this from the main Coinbase product. Soon, any app built on decentralized crypto rails will be accessible to users of the Coinbase app. In the future, you will have the option to do self-custody of your crypto right in the main Coinbase app. So these are uh, just uh, 180 <laughs> uh, turning point that uh, Coinbase uh, is a centralized entity, but now turning into a kind of decentralized uh, uh, <clears throat> provider and uh, and they will also uh, launching a self-custody and, and uh, launching a lot of decentralized crypto applications. So that is, this is, I think this is a really good business uh, model because they earned their uh, status in the decentralized uh, uh, in the centralized uh, as a centralized entity but now they are opening to decentralization the next piece of news ethereum breaks past 230 us dollar resistance long-term outlook bullish the excitement around the london hard fork upgrade is driving the eth price higher ethereum 2.0 staking rate has crossed 5% for the first time, suggesting a positive long-term outlook. That's cool, sounds good. Okay. Paired with sideways movement in the ETA reserves, all exchanges and decreasing net flows, it looks like ranging will go on for a while still, but the long-term outlook remains positive despite prices oscillating at critical levels. So this is how the Ethereum price looks like, the gray. And this is, uh, the red one is the staking rate that how many percentage of uh, the total supply is staked. And now it's almost, uh, yeah, 5%. Or, or maybe this is that they are earning 5%, sorry. So this is that uh, stakers are, uh, stakers earning 5%. Uh, Ethereum accumulation by institutional players seems to be going pretty strong. Canada's purpose ETR, ETF, uh, ETR ETF has now accumulated more than uh, 60,000 uh, Ethereum coins in less than uh, three months. Cool, sounds good. The next piece of news, we have a tremendous amount of uh, news about Ethereum. Ether price hits two-week high 
as London hard fork momentum builds. Yeah, so Ethereum also correcting today. Uh, Ethers options expiring on Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already talked about that uh, on, on Saturday. Ethereum rose more than 6.5% uh, as to almost close to uh, 2,400 US dollar, but now just pulled back. And the decentralized finance market, which is largely built on top of Ethereum, says cumulative gains of 9% on Sunday. The total market value of DeFi coins is almost 67 billion, according to CoinGecko. London Hartford looms. So there was a, a Robstein testnet, uh, which just everything's uh, worked out well. New scarcity feature that they are burning coins, as you know in the AIP 1559 hard fork. And uh, yeah, so everybody is so excited about the Ethereum uh, developments. And uh, yeah, we have some uh, news that uh, also Ethereum surpassing Bitcoin in daily active addresses for the first time. Yeah, so other altcoins uh, are also pumping like Kusama, Zilinka and others, but the Ethereum addresses activity surpassed Bitcoin activity. This is also how Ethereum can flip in Bitcoin, not just in market cap, but also in activity, in DeFi activity, in all other related services. The next piece of news also about Ethereum. Ethereum 2.0 approaches 6 million stake Ethereum milestone. Congratulations. Ethereum 2.0 now has 10 more, uh, 10 times more stake Ether to provide its proof of stake mechanism than the Ethereum Foundation required at launch six months ago. So 10 times more than uh, what than the minimum level. So 6 million Ethereum staked already. 32 stake Ethereum required, but you know there are a lot of providers here that also you can stake a portion of this minimum a month okay ethereum uh, just reclaimed 2000 us dollar level uh, supported by the london harford and the aip 1559 okay Validators that don't adhere to the network protocol go offline or fail to validate risk, losing their staked ether. Good to know. The next piece of news, finance redefined the 50, the 500 million bet on Ethereum 2.0 making a waves. June, uh, from June to July, okay. Where's depositing half a billion into Ethereum? So that is huge. Searching for the mega whale who is mega bullish ETH and ETH 2.0. So mega whales are just accumulating uh, Bitcoin. Uh, you see there are a few addresses and total ETH deposited 800, uh, 800, 800, 800. So somebody is accumulating Ethereum heavy, heavily. Okay, in each of the new addresses, 800 ETH was deposited into the deposit contract, the 25 deposits of um, 32 ETH. So somebody is uh, putting these huge amounts in the deposit contracts. So a wealth is accumulating. Ethereum just surpassed Bitcoin in a key milestone as major upgrades have spur its price higher okay let's see uh, what else do we have here ethereum registered just over seven uh, how much this 750 active uh, 750 000 active addresses as of friday some 
fifty thousand more than Bitcoin, according to crypto analyst uh, company sentiment. So this should be seven uh, hundred fifty thousand uh, addresses, or seven hundred fifty million. It's not clear. Maybe seven hundred seven hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, that should be the right. <clears throat> Okay. AY takes crack at Ethereum's gas fee problem with new protocol. Earth and Young takes. Earth and Young releases Nightfall free to help make the Ethereum blockchain cheaper to use. Okay. Nightfall free is the new iteration of the original Nightfall protocol released in 2019. Uh, the protocol combines zero knowledge proofs ZKEP with optimistic roll-up. Ethereum scalability bottleneck can lead to extremely high transaction fees in times of high demand. So this is amazing guys that one of the big big fours, uh, Ernst and Young working on how to scale Ethereum and how to make a uh, gas fee, how to lower gas fee. So I think this is amazing seeing that also big four, one of the big fours is adding value to the Ethereum network. Our next piece of news. The Centerland to host one of Ethereum's first music festivals. So we have lots of news uh, about Ethereum's. Ethereum-based Decentraland's music festival promises lots of music and exclusive NFT goodies. Virtual Live Music Festival, Decentralized is a mix between Minecraft and Second Life. Uh, you should definitely check out Decentralized. They are also heavily involved in NFTs and uh, and gaming and, and uh, virtual worlds. And uh, uh, their token is uh, Mono. Parcels of land in the virtual world are already selling for around a million dollars. So this is insane, guys. The next piece of news. Major stablecoin shakeup underway as Tether USDT loses grip on Ethereum dominance, says Massari. Uh, so Ethereum also a, a really important asset because most of the stable coins are running on Ethereum, also USDT, USDC, but these stable coins also are interoperable to other bridges. Uh, Messer's data shows that fall of the US, of USDT is due to the, uh, the rise of USDC coin, which was developed by the central central consortium funded by Coinbase and Circle. Okay. In coming weeks, it is very likely USDT share of the stablecoin supply of Ethereum will fall below 50% for the first time. USDC is quickly emerging uh, as the dominant stablecoin on Ethereum is large part uh, due uh, to its growing rule in DeFi. So uh, USDC is used more and more in DeFi and that is why it's surging. Okay, cool. Unsurprisingly, leading protocols MakerDAO, Compound and Aave are the largest consumers of USDC, holding 23% of the USDC supply. USDC in MakerDAO is primarily used to support the DAI pack via the pack stabilization module. USDC in Compound and Aave is deposited to earn yields. So you can earn up to 8% or even more uh, yields just depositing your USDC coins. Okay, and the Compound Treasury will come uh, also uh, with Coinbase. So this is uh, uh, important news. And that is why I told you that the USDC is regulated in the US. Then uh, I think there is a chance that maybe uh, USDC could be the digital US dollar, uh, the CBDC of, of the US. But this is just my um, estimation, so nothing... Uh, Nobody, nobody talked about this, but this is just, uh, I assume that will happen. The next piece of news, Strike adds Bitcoin buying tab in a new app. Lightning Network Payments platform Strike has added a Bitcoin buying tab to its app 
emphasizing minimal fees for these purchases. And we know that Jack Mullers, who uh, was behind uh, that uh, El Salvador uh, made uh, Bitcoin as a legal tender and uh, also strike uh, uh, spread, uh, spreading uh, as wide in El Salvador. And now they are the most cheaper, uh, they are providing the most cheaper way how to buy Bitcoin without any fees and all other sites uh, charging some fees. Uh, Coinbase uh, 4%, maybe other more, and then uh, Strike uh, not charging any fees. So I think this is a major event, uh, how to buy Bitcoin and how to transact Bitcoin uh, on a Lightning Network. And on Lightning Network, you, co you can also make microtransactions in Bitcoin, let's say buying a coffee and being fast and uh, easy. The next piece of news, that was the news just I wanted to also reminding you. Grayscale adds Cardano to multi-asset fund. The asset management giant has added Cardano's AD, a token to its digital large cap fund. You know Grayscale is the biggest crypto investor and they are really excited on the developments on Cardano and they added Cardano. And uh, yeah, so that's the news. Also, this is the news and uh, you can check that uh, Grayscale, all assets, uh, Bitcoin shares from all crypto assets is 67%, Ethereum uh, 25%, Cardano ADA 4% and all other coins are just around 1%. So this is an important news, but uh, that's enough to mention. Our next piece of news, that was a news few day, a few weeks ago, Worldwide Web NFT sells for 5.4 million at Sotheby's. Tim Berners-Lee, this digitized source code was sold by the major auction house earlier today. Okay, a digital NFT version of Tim Berners-Lee's source code for the Worldwide Web, WWW, has sold for 5.4 million US dollar. Burns Lee created the token on Ethereum earlier this month. So on Ethereum, Sotheby's handled the sale. It has also auctioned other NFTs and accepted cryptocurrency as payment for other items. So guys, I think most of uh, this is a great news. And also I think uh, this auction house doing uh, auctions uh, most of the time in crypto. Uh, are Next piece of news, I just mismatched. Bitcoin Mining Council says 56% of all mining is sustainable. Latest report from the Bitcoin Mining Council shows mining uses clean sources of electricity. That is important because Elon Musk thought that if uh, uh, it will be about 50%, then Tesla will accept Bitcoin. So now uh, he should come out and uh, accepting Bitcoin. But I think this is not just about Tesla, but this is also good for the environment and for good for the crypto adoption. Also, this was one of the causes that China started to ban Bitcoin. And I think in the US with uh, renewable energy in El Salvador and in other European countries, uh, it is much better for the long term. And what other here, this is the global report. So you should uh, definitely check, check it out and you see the energy consum consumptions on different countries and also the energy global energy consumptions of bitcoin mining and and also uh, you see <coughs> other uh, energy related uh, stuff so if you are interested just you can download from the link and then uh, you can check this report out okay the next piece of news about ripple we got a few news about Ripple. Two Japanese firms turned to Ripple XRP Tech to power remittances. A subsidiary of SBI has partnered with a local firm to utilize Ripple for remittances. And guys, we know that SBI 
is uh, one of the biggest financial and banking holdings in uh, Japan. And uh, they are partnering with a local firm to utilize Ripple as a, remit uh, as a remittance. And also that was a news last week that um, they are also launching NFTs and so on and so on. Therefore, international remittance needs are expected to increase in the medium to long term. So that was an XRP hype news. XRP technical analysis. XRP tries breakout of 45 days falling wedge. Can it break $1 level? Yeah, maybe, but not for now. Uh, XRP price has revived nearly 40% of its low of 0 0.50 US dollar. The 25 days EMEA, EMEA moving average has had XRP from starting a bullish trend. Price is currently trying to bake out of a 45 day falling wedge. So this is the falling wedge and uh, the price starting to break uh, out here. And we see that lots of touching points so it's, uh, it's more probable that this falling wedge can break into the upside. And we'll see, you should definitely follow. Uh, so that was a small technical analysis on Ethereum, uh, on Ripple. The next Ripple news, Ripple hires former MasterCard executive to expand its XRP power solution Ripple Net. Okay, so... Uh, this Mastercard executed Sandy Young as managing directors of its European operations in a bid to expand Ripple's global financial network technology. And he's a fintech uh, expert. Uh, sorry, she's, uh, I think Sandy is a lady, so she is a fintech expert. However, the underlying payments and banking infrastructure remains an obstacle to frictionless value exchange across borders and inclusion. I firmly believe that blockchain and crypto will be a game changer to enhance today's finance by addressing its core in inefficiencies. Okay, cool, sounds good. So welcome on board. Hope uh, you will have not just Ripple, but, but entire crypto adoption further. Dogecoin party goers dance for free Doge at Million Doge Disco. So uh, this is how you are going into disco uh, during lockdowns or after lockdowns. The Million Doge uh, Disco launched yesterday and thousands across the globe have already joined the party. So you are going to dance and you get some NFTs. Uh, so there is a video that popping up. So let's see if, uh, if there is anything that uh, we can open or check what's this. What's this Do Dodge Disco? Okay. So this is the Dodge Disco in Miami. NFTs are dancing. Oh, <laughs> okay guys. So it's, it's a little bit crazy how huh? uh, we are socializing and dancing today but this is uh, one of the craziest thing so that was the news but i think it's an important news Santa, senator cynthia loomis taught bitcoin as a retirement strategy so uh, she was on the cnbc and she talked about that uh, she's i'm worried about having all of uh, our retirement monies that they, they denominated in the us dollars as part of diversification having a very diverse asset allocation you don't have all your eggs in the one basket i think one of the stronger stores of uh, value for long run is bitcoin so uh, actually she suggested that everybody should hold bitcoin in uh, their retirement fund another news this is just to feel uh, uh the influence venezuela to slash six zeros from its currency to facilitate payments so they are slashing six zeros it's insane so this is uh extra <clears throat> inflation 
New redomination of its fiat currency, the proposal that is under study would cut six zeros from the inflation affected Bolivar. So that is why you should hold Bitcoin, not Bolivar and not fiat. The next piece of news, I, uh, USDC on Tron blockchain surpasses 100 million two days after public unwilling. So USDC is, as I mentioned, the second largest, biggest stable coin, second largest stable coin after the uh, USD Tether. And now also they are interoperable. So they uh, are uh, they are running on different blockchain and on Tron, they are really successful because the transaction fees and the transaction time are really cheap and fast on Tron. So that is why uh, it's uh, spreading uh, really fast. So good to know that. And I'm sure that in all, uh, all, on all new blo um, blockchains and protocols like ADA, Solana, Kusama, and DOT, uh, Angold, and all others, you will see these major coins minted and, and a kind of uh, bridge that you can bridge uh, your ARC20 and back and forth and back and forth and it's in interoperable uh, within different networks. Crypto assets uh, that surged uh, 47 million percentage this year may become surprise player in the Ethereum ecosystem according to Coin Bureau. Okay, so the guy is Guy, the name of the guy is Guy at Coin Bureau, and he made a video about uh, the Shiba Inu coin and telling her subscribers that uh, since Coinbase decided to list SHIB, he started to pay closer attention to the assets. Shiba Inu is one of the cryptos in its category, and it's one of the ever mentioned in a negative context. But when I heard that Coinbase will be listing Shiba, however, I began to consider the possibility that there might be more Shiba Inu too than meets the eye. Okay, so, uh, so she, he made an analysis. Where Shiba Inu and Dogecoin differ are the connections they have to the crypto community. Doge is really just a meme and nothing more. By contrast, Shib is close to becoming a big player in Ethereum's ecosystem by overcoming the shortcomings of Dogecoin. So Shiba will have yield farming and a lot of other uh, things that you can do and you can make money with your Shiba coins. As community driven as Shiba Inu is, there definitely seems to be some seriously prolific people behind the project. Yes, okay, cool. So that was the news about Shiba and also another news about Shiba. Shiba Inu price analysis, Shiba prepares to break 0.000095 US dollar next. So I don't like this number because uh, I, I, I even cannot um, many, um, handle these numbers. Shiba moved higher yesterday, higher low established yesterday and the next target and here's the chart. So there is this uh, <clears throat> trend line that is supporting the price movement of Shiba and until this trend line will not break down that uh, you can see the Shiba price increasing or even uh, just accelerating. Cool. The next piece of news, maybe our last news, that Robin Hood warns its crypto business uh, is heavily reliant on Dogecoin. The company says as substantial portion of recent revenue growth has come from Dogecoin trading. As it prepares to go public, so uh, Robin Hood is planning to do an IPO. Online brokerage service Robin Hood has, uh, Robin Hood has filed its form uh, as one with the SEC. Uh, much of the company's recent growth is connected to rise of Dogecoin. If demand for Dogecoin decreases, the document warns the business could be adversely affected. So uh, Robin Hood is really relying on, <laughs> on Dogecoin. So if people will trade in Dogecoin, then Robin Hood will make more revenue. If not, that maybe uh, 
they will fail <laughs> with the IPO. But also, you know, that was this GameStop, a AMC, BlackBerry, and other stock that these retail investors, this Robin Hood crowd, this uh, Reddit crowd traded. And also, I don't want to go deep in the GameStop story, but uh, uh, yeah, so that was not uh, a good for these retail guys because uh, Robin Hood just shut it down and the retail guys were not able to long and and wreck uh, the shoulders and the big hedge funds. So I think then Robinhood will list other so-called shit coins or maybe maybe other, not shit coins, but uh, other popular coins like the Shiba Inu and maybe some DeFi coins. So we'll see how Robinhood will accelerate uh, its business model. So let's check some other news that what uh, we have let's see uh let's yeah so this is helium i definitely will make a, a dedicated video also not just about core ions but about helium uh, about helium mining so this is how uh, the crypto market is looking it's some uh, a throw back from today uh, prices and we see few coins are just consolidating and uh, having some uh, pullback, but this is not too much. So we we'll see how Bitcoin and Ethereum will <coughs> going from here. Uh, so that should be a decision point <coughs> sometimes in the coming days. Let's check what's happening with the Bitcoin uh, on TradingView. And this is XRP, but uh, I don't see any. Yeah, so just this falling wedge uh, on XRP, but let's see Bitcoin. And let's check the four hourly chart. So as I mentioned several times, that Bitcoin is in this channel, this 30,000 to 41,000 US dollar channel. So side waving here and making people crazy uh, because the, uh, shaking out uh, longers and shorters. And now Bitcoin is in this rising channel and having some higher highs, higher lows, but it failed at the middle of the channel to go higher. And also it failed to make a higher high after uh, this uh, high made it in end of June. And now it's uh, it seems to be interesting because mm, it seems that maybe it broke down from this channel, but not trying to come back. And also there was an, a falling wedge here as um, maybe on the daily you will see better. So this falling wedge and also uh, Bitcoin broke up from this falling wedge, but after uh, bright uh, within a few hours came back in this falling wedge. So now Bitcoin is back in this falling wedge. And uh, so you should definitely check out these levels. Uh, also, it can be a kind of cup and handle forming here. So if um, for Bitcoin to keep the bullish momentum, definitely should turn here and uh, and increase back to this 35,500 ish levels and breaking this um, horizontal resistance and aiming to 36,500 levels. But if Bitcoin will fail to overcome back in this range, then we definitely can see a drop back first to uh, 32,700 and then to 30,000. So def definitely you should uh, <laughs> be careful with this price movement. What do we see with Ethereum? Ethereum is also dropping today, um, but Ethereum is in a rising channel as Bitcoin. Also, Ethereum broke uh, up uh, strong from this uh, uh, falling wedge here. And now Ethereum is testing the upper trend line of this rising wedge at 2,200. So uh, for now, 2,200 uh, US dollar acted as a resistance. This is a horizontal resistance. And uh, uh, we should be careful just 
go above the 0 0.5 Fibonacci level and continue its uh, way to the 2400-ish <coughs> levels. If Ethereum would fail to hold the 2200, then definitely would revisit the 2100 and 2000 levels. So that's it for today. Just let's check the Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin dominance is coming down. It's just coming down. So this is, uh, it's it's lost uh, its momentum and now coming down. And that is why we see that maybe also uh, some altcoins and Ethereum is performing better than uh, Bitcoin. So you should definitely see this. And let's check. I see that there was a huge spike, uh, some spy, a spy, spike in this uh, Bitcoin short. So Bitcoin short started to increase again. So we we'll see if there will be uh, a huge increase as we ha have seen a few times in the past few weeks. So that's it for today. You should uh, definitely push the like and subscribe, push the bell uh, notification all, and please write something in the comment. I would really appreciate uh, just getting some feedback from you. Do you like it? What would you prefer? Do you prefer more crypto related news? Do you prefer more technical analysis? Or do you prefer more DeFi uh, um, stuff? And also, uh, we will coming out with some videos. You should definitely check out Corionex, uh, <coughs> Corionex uh, channel. Uh, just come here and uh, you can check out and also you will see some news and uh, some daily news and some uh, communications that are coming here. And also there is uh, from a video from one of our ambassador that was released. So. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking and commenting this video. See you tomorrow.